Welcome back to Ground Zero. Hey Kenneth, yeah. how young is too young to smoke? Mm, well, according to the law, smoking under the age of 18 is a crime already. Indeed, but that has not stopped underage smokers here from lighting up in public and even going so far as to post photos of themselves smoking on Facebook. Now, this 13-year-old girl is one such example, reported by Stomper Shirley. Many netizens thought it was a pity that the girl had picked up the habit at so tender an age. Continue smoking and you will look like an old woman 10 years later, scolds Stomper Popsicle. <laughs> Stomper fresh from the oven on the other hand took no issue with the girl smoking but felt that her posting the photo on Facebook was a disgrace. She uh, said the Stomper, what is she trying to show? That she's cool or something? Get a life, a real life. I can see that she's kind of pretty. Why not just take care of your face rather than smoking or ruining it in time to come? Yet other Stompers sided with the 13 year old. Make me wonder commented. People want to smoke also cannot. She has a right to do what she wants, so leave her alone la. Let's not forget though that when you upload photos of yourself onto sites such as Facebook, you're making yourself fair game for criticism online. In fact, you might as well have been seen smoking in public. Which brings us to the next story. Now this group of five boys was spotted puffing away at a bus stop in Woodlands in plain view of passers-by there. One boy in particular was so tiny, he looked to be no more than 14 years old. Stomper LK was shocked by the group's bold display of civil disobedience. Said LK, the boys were not even perturbed by the presence of passers-by near them and were sharing cigarette puffs. Though they might be aware that smoking is prohibited at bus stops and that underage smoking itself is already an offence, they didn't seem to care at all. LK hoped that the boys' school would identify them and refer them for counselling. But other Stompers felt that the authorities too had some bucking up to do. Stomper Storm Lab X commented, What is the point of having laws when the National Environment Agency and police force are just plain lazy to uphold them? Indeed, our final story, a Stomper also just suggested that the authorities take greater measures to deter the many smokers he observed at Booger Street, who were in clear defiance of the no smoking signs. Stomper Rain of Computer said, Steps should be taken to eradicate this problem, particularly as there are several prominent food outlets nearby. I suggest just putting larger and more prominent no-smoking signs in the most common areas directly within a person's line of view, therefore unavoidable. The frequency of police patrols might be increased as well. This post drew some strong reactions from netizens. Stomper blah blah white sheep commented, As far as I know, the places that the pictures were taken at can be smoked in. As a smoker myself, I have tried to be very considerate by smoking in the designated area, but you guys, the non-smokers, seem like chasing us to the dead end. Carry an oxygen tank with you the next time. Well, it's this grey area, you know, in defining smoking and non-smoking boundaries that makes law enforcement less easy. Stopper Harvey Kid 2 said, Just look at coffee shops, right? Smokers just stand outside the coffee shop boundaries and they can smoke. How to stop them? They are considered a public person walking along there when checked by any enforcement officers. Perhaps the best approach to the problem thus far was that proposed by Stomper Terusterang, who said, I am a non-smoker. I do not like to smell and surely do not want to inhale smoke. However, we do share the common space. There should be a mutual respect for each other. Oh, I have to agree with that. In our next clip, we take you from underage smoking to over-the-top stunts. Stay tuned.